this new magnet Marelli swiping the emo data from this one to this one. So this uh, original issue, the new issue. What I will do, I will just uh, swap the EEPROM from this issue to issue. It will work because are the same part numbers. If you was prepared, so I will take the cover and uh, just unsolder the EEPROM and move to this one. So my usual mark, which I will do. This is the EEPROM, pin one. So let's unsolder it. I will apply some flux until the heating, the hot air station is heating up. First EEPROM it's unsoldered, now I will take the second issue do the same mark if I know where it's the fan yeah. it's ok, pin 1, it's there add some flux So we take the from and place it here. So it's in the position. All good. I will secure a little bit the pins to make sure it's all the property but uh, the hot air have pulled the chip to the right position so this is just for my checkings so the new ECU it's prepared I can give it back to, to the customer to, to start the car this is the way how you clone an old ECU uh, which have only the emo data only in a prom but uh, you need to make sure uh, this you have to be the same part number same software and so on otherwise uh, it will fail and it will not work so as you can see the part number are the same the Volkswagen part numbers also the ECU hardware it's it's the same only few differences regarding the date when it was manufactured and so on so this is the old ECU I don't even solder the EEPROM back because I know it's damaged so this I will not give back as a functional ECU and this will be the functional ECU which will get the customer so if you like please subscribe and stay tuned for more